Until 1852, no one knew that Everest was the tallest mountain in the world. Today, scientists are able to determine with great precision the height of each mountain on Earth, thanks in particular to the use by NASA of the series of satellites Earth Observing System. By measuring the height of each mountain from sea level to the highest peak, we realize that the 10 highest mountains in the world are all in the Himalayas. Each of these mountains belongs to the 8000 Club, a list that includes the 14 mountains on Earth that measure 8000 meters or more. Among this list of 14, we will present here the 10 highest mountains in the world and the brutal challenges they pose to people who try to climb them. Number 10, Annapurna 1, Nepal, 8,091 meters. The Annapurna Massif has a total of 11 peaks, and six of them are over 7,200 meters. Annapurna I is the only summit of the massif which rises more than 8,000 meters above sea level. When mountaineers talk about the rise of Annapurna, it is this peak so special that it is. You should know that Annapurna was the first summit over 8,000 meters that man crossed. Unfortunately, no other mountain in the world has killed so many people. Only elite climbers are trying to climb Annapurna, and more than a third of them lost their lives during their attempt. It's huge. Abrupt cliffs, falling stones, frequent avalanches, difficult terrain, fluctuating climatic conditions, insufficient local support, we can say that Annapurna I combines the dangers. However, it continues to fascinate climbers with its beauty and the challenge it represents. Much more popular than the summit attempt is the trek of the world-famous Annapurna circuit. It goes around Annapurna 1 and allows you to admire the view from Dalagiri to the mountain passes of the Annapurna Massif. It is an extraordinary adventure which generally lasts between 15 and 18 days. Number 9, Nanga Parbat, Pakistan, 8,126 meters. The ridge of Nanga Parbat mountain consists of four major peaks, but only the main one can bring you to an altitude of more than 8,000 meters. Nanga Parbat or Nanga Parvata means the bare mountain. The Tibetan name of the mountain Diamer, which means huge mountain, may be more appropriate, even if it lacks a little creativity. But this mountain is better known by its nickname Killer Mountain, the Killer Mountain. The rise of this impressive summit was considered impracticable before 1953, when the Austrian mountaineer Hermann Buell climbed it via the Upper North Ridge for the first time in history. Nanga Parbat had claimed the lives of 31 people before this successful attempt. It is no coincidence that Nanga Parbat is considered the second mountain over 8,000 meters the most difficult to climb after K2. The south face is the largest in the world. It stretches 4 kilometers above the base camp. To date, there have only been five climbs from the south. The north face is just as intimidating. Unlike steep rock and ice on the south face, the snowy north face is guarded by a wide barrier of Sarah. These are large blocks of ice formed by the fracturing of a glacier. They extend over the entire width of the mountain and make the ascent perilous. Number 8, Manaslu, Nepal, 8,163 meters. Manaslu, also known as Kadong, is located about 60 kilometers east of Annapurna and dominates the Gorkha Massif. The long ridges of the mountain and the glaciers of the valley offer feasible approaches in all directions. The first ascent of this summit was carried out in 1956 by Toshio Imanishir and Giles and Norbu. It was no longer climbed after this successful attempt until 1971, when a Japanese team made the second ascent. It was not until 1997 that Charlie Mace made the first American ascent. Today there are half a dozen routes established on the mountain, the south face being without doubt the most difficult in the history of mountaineering. In 2003, the summit experienced only 240 successful climbs for 52 deaths, making it the fourth most dangerous summit over 8,000 meters behind Annapurna, Nanga Parbat and K2. Number 8, Manaslu, Nepal, 8,163 meters. Manaslu, also known as Kadong, is located about 60 kilometers east of Annapurna and dominates the Gorkha Massif. The long ridges of the mountain and the glaciers of the valley offer feasible approaches in all directions. The first ascent of this summit was carried out in 1956 by Toshio Imanishir and Giles and Norbu. 
It was no longer climbed after this successful attempt until 1971, when a Japanese team made the second ascent. It was not until 1997 that Charlie Mace made the first American ascent. Today there are half a dozen routes established on the mountain, the south face being without doubt the most difficult in the history of mountaineering. In 2003, the summit experienced only 240 successful climbs for 52 deaths, making it the fourth most dangerous summit over 8,000 meters behind Annapurna, Nanga Parbat and K2. Number 7 Dalagiri, Nepal, 8,167 meters. Dalagiri Mountain is located in the central western part of Nepal. It is the seventh highest peak in the world and almost the last 8,000 meters to be conquered. Indeed, this mountain was climbed for the first time in 1960 by an international team under the direction of Max Eislin. The path of the first ascent is the same as the classic route still taken today. There are, however, two main possibilities for reaching the base camp. The two tracks lead from the south in the small town of Beni, 860M, accessible by bus from Pakhara and Kathmandu. The name Dalagiri comes from a combination of the Sanskrit words Diwala and Giri which means White Mountain. After being discovered by the West in 1808, this mountain was considered, wrongly, as the highest in the world, a title which it kept for 30 years before giving way to Kangchenjunga, then to Everest in 1852. Number 6, Cho Oyu, Himalaya, 8,188 meters. With its 8,188 meters, Cho Oyu is the sixth tallest mountain in the world. It is located on the border of Tibet, China, and Nepal, about 20 km west of Mount Everest. Some climbers claim that Cho Oyu is the easiest summit in the 8,000 list. There are no really technical sections and objective dangers are almost non-existent. Its relatively easy access makes it an attractive ascent for someone with limited time, as it can be attempted in about six weeks round trip. The base camp is accessible in Jeep and it is possible to reach it from Kathmandu in a very long day. Due to its ease of access, Cho Oyu is often browned by a large number of expeditions. So far, there have been many more than 1,000 climbs. This mountain has also recently become popular with mountaineers and snowboarders due to the relatively low risks and good snow conditions, especially in the fall. Number 5 Mukalu, Himalaya, 8,485 meters. This magnificent massif is located only 22 kilometers east of Everest in the Kumbu region, the border between Nepal and China. Its size alone is impressive, but its perfect pyramid structure with four sharp ridges makes this mountain all the more spectacular. Mukalu turned out to be a difficult ascent because only five of his first 16 attempts succeeded. To date, there have been a total of 206 successful Mukalu ascents for 22 deaths. Even if these statistics remain relatively lenient compared to other summits on this list, the danger is still very real. Before its first ascent in 1955, the summit was admired and studied by several expeditions from Everest, but like many other giants in the Kumba region, it was only attempted when the summit of Everest was first reached in 1953. The first ascent was led by an American team led by William Seary in the spring of 1954. Number 4 Lhotse, Himalayas, 8,516 meters. The Lhotse rises to 8,516 meters, making it the fourth tallest mountain in the world. It is also located on the border between Tibet and Nepal. Its long east-west ridge is located immediately south of Mount Everest, and the peaks of the two mountains are connected by the South Col, a vertical ridge that never descends below 8,000 meters. Lhotse has three peaks, Lhotse Main 85-16 at meters, Lhotse Shar 83-83 at meters, and Lhotse Middle, or East, at 8,413 meters. The western flank of Lhotse is known as Lhotse Face. Any climber to the south call on Everest must climb this 1125-meter wall made of blue ice. The south face, considered one of the most impressive walls of the Himalayas, is also a real challenge. The Lhotse Main was first climbed in 1956 by Ernst Rice and Fritz Lutzinger, who were part of a Swiss expedition. Lhotse Shar was first climbed on December 5, 1979 by Sepp Mayerl and Rolf Walter taking the southeast ridge. 
It was not until 2001 that the Lhotse middle was conquered by a Russian expedition. Number 3 Kangchenjunga, Himalayas, 8,586 meters. Kangchenjunga is the easternmost mountain in the Himalayas 8,000 meters. Its name means the five treasures of snow, a reference to its five peaks. The huge Kangchenjunga massif is supported by large ridges that extend from east to west and from north to south, forming a giant X. The main ridge rises to 8,586 meters, and three of the other four peak more than 8,000 meters. Kangchenjunga does not have an easy route because the threat of avalanche is high. As it is in the eastern Himalayas, it receives most of the humidity from the monsoon. The summit is considered sacred by the people of Sikkim, the Indian state in which it is located. The first expeditions that climbed the mountain stopped a few meters from the summit to respect this belief and the promise made to the Maharaja of Sikkim to keep the summit not defiled by human feet. Number 2 K2, Karakoram, Pakistan and China 8,611 meters. Reinhold Messner called K2 the mountain of mountains after its ascent in 1979. Unlike Everest, the second highest peak in the world has no monsoon season, so most climbs are in July and August, a time of year when time is the best. K2 is located on the border between China and Pakistan. It is said to be the ultimate ascent, as many see it as much more technically difficult than Mount Everest. There have been many attempts at ascension. By 2014, more than 335 climbers had reached the summit of K2, while at least 82 had died. The mortality rate on K2 is therefore three times higher than that of Everest, but remains lower than Annapurna. The route through the Abruzzo Spur to the Black Pyramid would be a slightly easier ascent, more than the North Ridge route. The north face of the K2 overlooking the glacier is one of the largest walls in the world. K2, having its share of epic ascents, is also a mountain of literature. Some of the best writings on mountaineering stories are based on exciting adventures taking place on the one nicknamed the Wild Mountain. Number 1, Mount Everest, Himalaya. Mount Everest is the highest and best known mountain in the world with its 8,848 meters. The first successful ascent was carried out by Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay of Nepal on May 29, 1953. With its status as a roof in the world, it would be easy to imagine that Mount Everest could be the deadliest mountain of all. But it only kills a fairly small percentage of climbers given the number of attempts each year. The average death rate on Everest still remains around 6.5%, which is significant. The best time to climb Mount Everest is in early May, before the monsoon season. This ideal period remains very limited, which leads each year to massive traffic jams of climbers at the level of the section called Hillary Step. Since the first successful attempt, more than 4,000 people have reached the top. In 2012, 234 people peaked in one day, a record that may well fall again with the growing popularity of commercial expeditions. The controversy on this subject is important because professionals believe that amateur mountaineers, not ready to overcome the challenge, endanger the lives of other Himalayans and their companions.